All right, guys. <clears throat> if you watched uh, my most recent videos, um, you might have seen this Terra Scorcher out, and we did some upgrades to the Jazz uh, with the Jazz Rider aluminum parts. Now, this uh, for those that haven't seen this rig came from a eBay lot. Um, had some parts I needed for my other Terra Scorcher restoration, um, and uh, it was a um, what do they call it? A thunder shot. Kind of converted it over in the last run we kind of had a little mishap with the front pups now, i'm not surprised because this is a vintage um so we went with um so far with the jazz riders we got the front and rear mount upper uh, or shock towers and we have the front and rear um what they call it i don't even know what you call them swing arm holders i guess and then the, the rear bumper all in that nice red now we do have another upgrade coming we got some new shocks coming um, they could be a while because they're taking slow boat, but we got our Jazz Riders in, this videos of that, and uh, also got our new tires for it. Um, thanks to my buddy, test, test Driver, and uh, the mechanic. Um, so, well, this should be a quick one. It's pretty simple. They come with two new bolts and uh, yeah, the one part. So, looks like... Yeah, so that shouldn't be too bad. Pretty much just take this one screw out here. And then take these off and then slide them right into place and let her go. So I'll be right back once we get a, 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 a little snag ready, here. Get ready to go. Um, it's been a couple days since the video started. Or my first part. Um, what we have is a crack right here in the housing. The diff case housing. I'm hoping that this is the right one. It's this one here. So we're going to get this taken apart and we're going to swap this out and I might put both of these on because they look, they're, they're, well they look used so maybe not, maybe I'll just put the one side on. Maybe you can see one of these broke off, oh, this part here, but this, this looks used. used. So this has been replaced or from a different kit. Not sure either way. That's what I was worried about with the metal parts. Um, not that I think that this is necessarily the case here. Um, because you are talking about... Where the heck is the right hex driver here? So you are talking about uh, moving metal. Like in this case. But this is a... I don't know if this is a re-re chassis. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if there's already weak points on this. Um, yeah. I got some new tools coming too, so. But where did my other piece go? Either way, we're gonna get these cups on and I'll get them swapped out. Um, I'll also, you know, probably just take this apart. You guys don't need to watch all that because that's a lot of screws. This is gonna be a much bigger deal. I'll probably come back at some point. Um, I never had these diffs apart, so while I'm at it, I'm going to take them again, basically. Um, but it looks like it's just uh, a few screws here. Take this guy hold. I'm not sure I'm going to use any of this footage. But if you don't film it, then you don't have it to not use, I guess, right? <laughs> now these do have bearings in them but they look like stock tammy is not the um if we get this bulletproof i'll probably hit up winter's evening see if they got a good set or maybe i'll take them from our uh, couple of our other sets that we decommissioned but these are corroded here, so they're old. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so I gotta take these front ends off. Gotta take the bumper off. It's uh, a lot of monkeying around. <laughs> At this point, this is where you start saying, okay, well, how many dollars have I wasted on this? And was it worth it? At this point, it still is. Because I got, like, I got this kit, like I said, um, for the parts for the other restoration kit. And that other restoration kit was a buy-e bargain that I got for, like, 30 bucks. 
And these kits right now, the re-rees are going for like three, four hundred bucks right now. So no matter how I look at this, I can restore the other one and try and recoup some some of my expenses, which I'll be doing pretty soon. Um, I'll be listing that kind of stuff on our website, website. um, rightplacerc.com. Along with some of our new products, we're going to be doing uh, a new product line um, for uh, those that don't know. I have a hemp license in New York. Um, it's right buds. Um, I do CBD. I don't do THC products anymore. Um, I did have a, one of those, but not anymore. Um, I want to stick to my CBD products. So we're going to be coming out with a bunch of lotions and, uh, we'll be selling those online. Um, bombs that you can use for your animals. If your animals, animals got cysts or rashes or problems, um, it works really good. I've been using it for years. I had a dog that probably should have passed away oh i would say in 17 um maybe i'll throw some pictures in here right here just give you a little more of me so i'll show you some of my fields we were one of the largest hemp farms in upstate new york before uh when cbd was first made legal and uh uh, geez i'm trying to think how many acres we did we did 30 or 40 acres which when When you you do do everything by hand everything's done by hand there's no machines no machine harvesting i had to use um i I, geez we did the larger plants at the end of the season i think um we did 40,000 plants or 50,000 plants somewhere in there um all of them huge we had to hand cut them all and i don't know if you they i mean they're big as my wrist these stalks uh hemp is the second fastest growing plant there is um behind only bamboo so keep, keep that, that in your mind, mind you know this is something about hemp that's why they want to get rid of it anyways back to this sorry squirrel squirrel so i'll get this apart off screen i gotta find my right tools and make this right because uh th- this is gonna be i'm gonna have to rip this whole front end apart just for that one little piece kind of sucks but that's okay Got to learn. Got to learn somehow. Anyways, um, we do have one more upgrade for this coming. And uh, if not, we'll have to make another. How I do that. This is the stock stuff. That's the pin for the top. Where did that go? So that's the piece that broke. And we're going to be replacing it with our Jazz Riders. These are pretty cool. I've been pretty. I've been real happy with the quality of these. These parts are nice. Um, I don't know if there's a left and a right on these. I think they're identical. I think that's the way they design them. But they do come with some new hardware. Um, but I think the hardware's for the top, which is fine. But the bottoms you need to use the stock, which I lost. <laughs> So there's that, and that'll go on the top piece here. But this will, uh, so this will go on here, like so. And if I could find. to watch the video to see where it went oh there it is okay that's not too bad okay so this piece is the stock part um probably should dip it about um that this is going to turn into um every time i fix a piece i i break a piece so we're gonna we're gonna get as far as we can get today we're gonna have to get new cups too uh but i am gonna stick with the plastic i'm not going with the alloy so we'll figure that out um but what broke was this piece here um so we have a new used so it came with the kit when i got it um and we're just gonna kind of swap all the parts out because these are in real good shape there isn't a whole lot of wear on those and here's your your diff well that's seized up pretty good but i guess it's supposed to anyways um and you see they got the standard Tamiya bearings, just the steel. 
So, when I decide where I'm going with this, because the I can't remember if the parts tree that has the uh, front hubs is also the parts tree that has the stiff housings, but if it is, then we're probably going to um, swap it all out. The uh, nice thing is, is this part that's broken, I have to take this, this part off as well, but I can button the rest of this up without that. Not sure how much of this I'll show you or not, but at the very least we'll get it back together with our new um, Jazz Rider parts on and we probably just won't be able to put the, the front cups on. That's the other cool thing is like this design, you can replace, replace the arms them. easy. The gearbox is a pain and um, the shock tower. You do have that weak spot on the top tower um, that holds the front part together you guys hear those canadian geese they're going south man they're going south anyways <laughs> squirrel oh i took that out just put it back in again Jeez. so like i was saying um it's only four screws that hold this whole diff housing into the chassis itself so that's where i gotta look at parts um i've been looking at a lot of different parts i'm gonna do an order this there's a crack on here as well or some tamia parts so see here, I can put the um, other piece. It's pretty simple. Just the stock pieces. We'll get a couple of these on, then I'll... Towers. Make sure I got the right screw. I don't want to jam a, a super longy in there when it needs a shorty. Nope. With luck, with some luck. That just seems long. So now you're gonna have to we're gonna have to do these towers. So what I'll do is I'll probably just do one tower at a time. Um so this part's the one I broke. Because you got to have these on before you put the shock towers on. These. Broken these on the thread. Ah, it's coming. It's coming. Guys. Um, what was it? 2020 that this came out right at the height of covid <laughs> so so this is going to go in on here and i didn't wd-40 it too much first so i the moisture is pretty dry you guys heard me talk about that before i believe i totally believe that you got to do that kind of stuff so but Is what it is. How long am I on this already? All right, I'm gonna have to cut. This is getting long, and I'll come back with it put back together. But one more screw there, one more going across there, which is the one that comes with this. Ooh, there are some smaller ones. All right, I'll be back in a minute, and we'll have this all buttoned up. And back on here, like I was saying, it's these two posts here and these two posts here. Put it into place and let her go. So I'm gonna put back together. I'll be right back. All right, guys, <laughs> we're about where we can get today. You can see, I got the uh, front diff rebuilt, and we have one cup, so that's looking good. 
feels real good, so hopefully it holds up a little bit. Um, I glued the crap out of it all the way around. Everything's nice and tight. And, uh, see all that gooping in there. So I'll have to clean it up a little. Um, but it's going to take a little bit. So you have to get this piece. We did a little assessment. So this will be part one. We'll have to do a part two of the rebuild on this. Uh, might be a little bit. Um, we got to swap this out, which will take a minute. Do that off screen. But I also lost a dog mode. So um, I'm going to order uh, basically some more parts. And when they come in, then we'll finish this. Um, it looks like my bearing is rusty on this one. You see there where it snapped. I could probably glue it and make it work, but I'm gonna I wanna get this to be a track runner. Look at all that rust on there. Maybe it's time to swap some. Ooh, look at that. That's some corrosion. Time to swap these out anyways too. Luckily all that kind of stuff, I got lots of spares on those. So that's not a big deal. We'll get that all swapped out. Get the best of what we got. So we have a uh, best shot. Best shot. So I get to finally see this Futaba. S148 for the servo in there. But we'll be back um, next once we get the last of the parts on this. I know this, this was not supposed to be this kind of build. This was supposed to be, I put these cups on and it's five minutes and done. But as you saw, I found a couple more problems. And um, hopefully we're going to get it right. And Murphy, like he always does, you know, if it's gonna, if it can't happen, it will happen. And this is no exception. So hopefully you guys dig, and sorry that I didn't get to finish it today, but we will get it finished. Let's keep it very good. Um, I'm not sure when, so hopefully everybody had a great holiday and has a great weekend. And I'll see you when I see you. I'm not sure what we'll be on to next, but we got a lot of stuff in transit, so we'll keep something going <laughs> anyways like and subscribe guys and uh i know this was another chaotic um uh, supposed to be one thing turning into another so this will be part one part two will have to be part two we'll figure it all out we'll get it right get it right anyways i'll see you when i see you guys Thanks. Ooh.